So I've been experimenting with Claude Code quite a lot on my channel recently, and I came across this section in the Claude Code documentation that says we can expose Claude Code as an MCP server. So I really wanted to see what this is about. Apparently, all we have to do is run this command Claude MCP serve or add this configuration to our MCP clients. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what MCP is, the model context protocol or MCP is just a standardized way to give agents access to tools. And with the Claude Code MCP server, that's exactly what it does. It gives other AI agents access to the exact same tools that Claude Code does. So when you run Claude Code, you usually use a model like Sonnet 4 or Opus. And in those models, simply use the tools made available by Claude Code to do things like write files, read files, and run commands. So in theory, we could add a server to something like Claude Desktop, and we can then use Claude Desktop as our coding tool. But in this video, I actually want to take it a step further by really creating a monstrosity of a solution. We can add a server to any AI builder that supports MCP servers. This could be something like N8N or Flowwise. And in fact, for this video, I'm going to use Flowwise as N8N doesn't natively support the standard IO transports. So what I'll do is run npx flowwise start. And if this is your first time running this command, it should install Flowwise. And afterwards, we can open Flowwise on port 3000. Then let's create our agent by going to agent flows. Let's create a new flow. Then I'm just going to rename this flow to my Claude code MCP agent. And then let's add this agent node like so and connect the start node to the agent node. Then let's double click the agent node. And I'm just going to rename this to coding agent. And now for the model, we could of course use Anthropics models like Sonnet 4, but to keep this experiment really interesting, let's use the new GPT-5 model. So let's select chat OpenAI. Then I'm going to select my OpenAI credentials. And for the model name, let's select GPT-5. And for the temperature, I'll simply leave it at one. And then scrolling down, I'll leave the reasoning effort on medium. You can change it to high and that will give you a lot better results, but I'll just leave it on medium. Cool. Then let's close this. Under messages, let's add a system message and let's enter something like, you are an experienced full stack developer. Use the provided tools to write, read, list files, or run bash commands. Then this is optional, but I like adding it to my agents. You are working in a Windows environment. Use the PowerShell style commands. When using agents, you might notice that the first time it tries to run a command, it might fail, and then it tries a different syntax. And the agent will figure the problem out eventually. It's just a complete waste of time and tokens. So I'll rather tell it to use command prompt or PowerShell. Let's save this. And now under tools, let's search for the custom MCP tool, and then under the MCP parameters, let's simply copy this configuration from the Claude Code docs. Let's add it into this config field, and this should be it. Let's save this. And when we refresh this list of actions, we should now see all the tools that are available in Claude Code, which we do. We get this bash tool, which gives the agent the ability to run commands. We have bash output. I'm simply going to select everything. So we've got edit, exit plan mode, glob, grep for finding files, kill bash, ls for listing files, multi edit, notebook edit, and I'm just going to select all of these. And that's all. And these are all the tools that are exposed by Claude Code. Cool. Then let's enable require human input. So now the agent will ask our permission to run these tools. And let's also enable memory, and that should be everything. Let's try this out. I'm going to save this flow, then in the chat, let's first see if our connection to OpenAI is actually working. So let's just say hello, and cool, I get this response back, so everything is working. And if we have a look at our coding agent, we can see that the agent has access to all of these different MCP tools. We have our system message, and that should be everything. All right, so let's give this a spin. So I've created this empty folder called project. I'm just going to copy this path. Let's open the chat and let's say, please create a folder called to-do list in 
this path. And it's based in the path to our projects. Our agent is asking us to approve this tool call. So the LS tool, let's run this. And I believe it uses LS to list all the files in that directory. And now it wants to run this command, this bash command to make this directory. So let's approve this. And switching back to the project folder, we now have the subdirectory called to do list. And nice, the agent is saying it created that folder and it's asking if we want to create any starter files inside of it. Before we do that, I'm actually going to disable this require human input toggle. I'm just going to save this and I'll just let the agent do its thing, which is probably not a good idea, but oh well. Let's say, please list the contents of the project's folder. So let's see if it's able to list all the files in a folder. And right, it's saying we've got this to-do list folder. Now let's say, please create a to-do list app using React in the to-do list folder. Store the to-dos in local storage. So I do want to keep this example really simple. Otherwise this video is just going to take way too long to record. But still, it should be fun to see if this agent can actually not just plan the project, but also create the files as well. And while this is running, this example might seem strange, but we've actually created complex software development teams using Flowwise before. Now, unfortunately, those agents could only give you the code in the chat and you had to manually copy everything over to your project. So in theory, what this can do is now plan the project, and then write the code to the actual folder. And we can then have agents to actually test the code by running build commands or linters. And of course, with these AI builders, we can attach different service providers. And if we really wanted to, we could assign an open source model to do all of this coding for us for free. But because GPT-5 is so popular right now, let's see if it's able to build this very simple app for us. All right, so it's saying it created all of these files and what it does. By looking at this folder, I'm not convinced everything is here. So let's say, hold on, are you sure that this React.js project is correctly set up? So I'm hoping it's going to identify that the package.json file is missing. It hasn't installed any of the node modules yet and whatever else. So let's see what happens. And now we're getting some explanations saying that it's fine. This is a no build setup, not a node with project. All right, so I didn't know I had to specify that. That's new to me. But what it's not is a modern tool chain app. And if you want a standard React app, so Vt and NPM scripts, then I can scaffold one for you. And I'm actually going to ask the agent, please can you run this command? And then let's copy this command and throw it in there. All right, so it's been a while. And if I go to that page, it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, actually, here we go. So we've got this to-do list. Let's say buy bread, let's add this. And all right, the item is in this list. Let's say call mom, let's add this. And it seems that these tabs are working as well. Then let's check off call mom. Let's refresh this page. And we can see the items are still there even after refreshing. So if I go to application and local storage, we can see this to-do list key. And in here, we can see our individual to-do list items. So it is correctly using local storage. That's very cool. Let's try one more change. So GPT-5 is actually really good at styling. So let's do that. Please, can you change the style of the website to dark mode with neon green colors and bloom effects and gradients. Let's run this. And there we go. This looks absolutely insane. GPT-5 gave me exactly what I asked it to do. And I'm not sure if I would actually keep this style, but irrespective, we were able to select any model and then use Claude Codes tools to build out this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little experiment. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more Claude Code content. Also check out this other video over here, or I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.